Hello and welcome. Today we will be discussing the topic types of fiscal and monetary policy. Before we discuss what is what are types of fiscal and monetary policy, let me just give you an overview. What is a fiscal policy and what is a monetary policy? When I say fiscal policy, fiscal policy it deals only and only with government's income and government's expenditure. On the other hand, when I talk about monetary policy, monetary policy it deals with various interest rates it deals with interest rates and and various other instruments which the rbi uses to control inflation let's cut it short when i say fiscal policy it is related to government when i say monetary policy it is related to interest rate or it is related to rbi so now let me tell you about so when i say fiscal government's income and government's expenditure when i say government's income we are talking about various taxes. When I talk about government's expenditure, it means I am talking about various types of government expenditure, which can be capital expenditure or revenue expenditure. What are the components of budget, capital expenditure, revenue expenditure? That has been discussed in some other video. For the time being, let us focus on what are the types of fiscal and monetary policy. Now. Fiscal policy, it is of two types. Those two types are expansionary fiscal policy and also other is contractionary fiscal policy right when i say expansionary fiscal policy as we can like we can guess it from the name expand so what does the government do when it follows expansionary fiscal policy under expansionary fiscal policy government it reduces its, its tax rates government increases its expenditure the expenditure which is increased, it can be either increase of capital expenditure. When I say increase of capital expenditure, it means more expenditure on creation of infrastructure. At the same time, there can be increase in revenue expenditure also, which can be like government giving various loan waivers, government increasing the subsidy. So, in expansionary fiscal policy, government it increases its expenditure and reduces the tax rates. The whether it is direct tax rates or it is indirect tax rates, both the tax rates would be cut down. Then, under expansionary fiscal policy, the liquidity it increases. So why do we follow expansionary fiscal policy or what is the objective of fiscal expansionary fiscal policy? The objective of expansionary fiscal policy or the goal of expansionary fiscal policy is to bring economic growth. So if the economy is going through a downward phase, if there is slowdown in the economy, if there is recession in the economy, that time the government would be following an expansionary fiscal policy. And then you would have heard that whenever there is downward phase of economy, that time the government would give a fiscal stimulus package. So whenever the government gives a fiscal stimulus package, that time it is following an expansionary fiscal policy. So objective is economic growth and this is also the positive of following an expansionary fiscal policy. Then. What are the drawbacks? What are the negatives when the government follows expansionary fiscal policy? The negative is immediate negative. Immediate negative is look, the when the tax rate is reducing, it means 
government's income is reducing at the same time government's expenditure is increasing so if government's income is reducing and government's expenditure is increasing it would lead to a increase in fiscal deficit of the government and when fiscal deficit of the government increases what are its various drawbacks again let's keep it reserved for some other video for time being we'll just focus that the immediate negative of expansionary fiscal policy is it will be increasing the fiscal deficit of the government and what is the long term negative long term negative is the high liquidity in the economy it would lead to inflation in the economy all right so this is what is expansionary fiscal policy the government reduces tax rates the government increases expenditure it increases the liquidity objective is economic growth positives are we get economic growth negative is the fiscal deficit goes up and the inflation also goes up now let's talk about contractionary fiscal policy so what would be the government doing under contractionary fiscal policy as we can understand from this thing it will be totally opposite contractionary fiscal policy here the government would be increasing the tax rates because if tax rates are increased say indirect tax rates are increased the value of goods would be increasing people would stop buying the goods if direct tax rates are increased that is if income tax rate is increased the disposable income with the household would reduce which would again lead to decrease in purchasing power when the corporate tax rates are when the corporate tax rates are increased it would lead to decrease in investment available with the corporates again that would reduce the employment that would reduce the demand in the economy so here contractionary fiscal policy increase in tax rates and the government reduces its expenditure and what is the impact of this impact is that the liquidity goes down the liquidity goes down so what is the objective of following contractionary fiscal policy objective is we need to bring down inflation so if inflation is to be brought down contractionary fiscal policy will be used so what is the positive of following a contractionary fiscal policy first is the inflation goes down second positive is that the government's fiscal deficit reduces and what is the negative of this the negative is the liquidity would dry up that would also lead to decrease in economic growth so in contractionary fiscal policy we are aiming to get in aiming to rein in inflation aiming to control inflation but that control in inflation is going to come at the cost of decrease in economic growth so these are two types of fiscal policy which are expansionary fiscal policy and contractionary fiscal policy and why i am discussing types of monetary policy over here is because monetary policy is also of two types so can you please guess what are the two types of monetary policy yes they are expansionary monetary policy and contractionary monetary policy expansionary monetary policy is also called as cheap money policy it's not cheap monetary policy it is cheap money policy and it is also called as easy money policy and contractionary monetary policy it is known by the name tight money policy also called as dear monetary policy so these are two types of 
monetary policy so now can you please guess what would be happening in expansionary monetary policy in expansionary monetary policy what was happening in expansionary fiscal policy the liquidity was going up so in expansionary monetary policy also in expansionary monetary policy also the liquidity would go up and how can the liquidity go up how what can we do with interest rates to increase the liquidity to increase the liquidity obviously here rbi would be reducing the interest rates whichever interest rate it is whether it is repo rate reverse repo rate slr cash reserve ratio lending rate deposit rate when you know when expansionary monetary policy is being followed the interest rates are going to be cut down rbi is going to cut down repo rate reverse repo rate slr crr and the banks are going to cut down the deposit rate and the lending rates the interest rates would be reduced so what is the objective why would rbi follow look when i say monetary policy it is always rbi when i say fiscal policy it's always the government when it is fiscal policy it is taxes when it is monetary it is interest rates so what is the objective when rbi follows expansionary fiscal expansionary monetary policy the objective is yes you need to guess it increase economic growth and that is what is the positive of following a expansionary monetary policy and what is the drawback of this what's the negative of this negative of this that this increased liquidity it will it will be contributing to increased inflation in long term it will be increasing the inflation and then let's come to contractionary monetary policy so what would be rbi doing here in contractionary monetary policy yes rbi would be increasing the interest rates and why it's being done for i just forgot to tell you this what would be happening over here what would be happening to liquidity in contractionary monetary policy is that the liquidity would be reduced and how can the liquidity be reduced the liquidity would be reduced by increasing the interest rates fair enough and what is the objective of this objective is to bring down inflation and that is the positive of following and a contractionary monetary policy but at the same time the negative of this is that the decreased liquidity would also bring down economic growth so let's now sum it up let's now sum it up when i say expansionary monetary policy it's going to increase liquidity when i say expansionary fiscal policy it's going to increase liquidity when i say contractionary fiscal policy or contractionary monetary policy they are going to bring down inflation so if inflation is to be brought down which one is used contractionary fiscal policy or contractionary monetary policy and which one is more effective which one is going to give quick results quick results would be given by contractionary fiscal policy because if the tax rates are increased it's going to have a impact on disposable income all of us are done it's going to have an impact on the prices of goods all of us are done and people are going to reduce their purchasing it's going to impact everyone contractionary monetary policy rbi is going to increase the interest rates then the banks will be increasing the interest rates but it will be impacting only those people who are taking loans it's not going to impact those people who do not take a loan so the impact is immediate of contractionary fiscal policy but which one is used contractionary monetary policy is used and contractionary fiscal policy is hardly used to control inflation reason being in contractionary fiscal policy the government would have to increase the tax rates and no one is going to like a government which increases the taxes which reduces the subsidies 
So if inflation is to be controlled, it is always contractionary monetary policy will be used. And when contractionary monetary policy is not going to help, then we resort to contractionary fiscal policy. I hope you have understood what are the different types of fiscal policy and different types of monetary policy. That's it for today. Thanks.